In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest, most affordable and scalable way that you can host N8N on a cloud for just $5 a month. With this method, if your needs grow and you demand more memory or anything, you can easily expand the setup to provide more infrastructure without paying much more at all using Railway. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is come into railway.com. Now, what Railway actually is, it's just going to be a way to allow us to locally host our N8N instances on a cloud, you know, but not actually hosting it on our own computer. So it's going to be hosted on some third party server. And if you want to use multiple different computers and not just worry about using N8N and only one computer, this is going to be perfect for you. So come into railway.com, you'll want to sign up for an account. It's going to be completely free right away. So if you go into the product usage, I just want to go into some of the plans. You can see that they're offering me a trial. So they gave me $5 when you sign up. But if I go into plans, you can see it says unlock the full trial. But anyways, we have a couple different ones. So we have the hobby and we have the pro. Now hobby, this is great for just personal usage. So you get just about as much memory as you're going to need for personal projects. But if you are looking to scale, you know, you need more memory or bigger infrastructure, whatever that may be, then you can go with the pro plan. It's going to be $20 per month, but a heck of a lot cheaper than having to pay 70 and upwards on N8N's cloud. But anyways, I'm just going to proceed with this hobby plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click to play with hobby and I'm going to enter my card and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I just bought the $5 plan. So it says, welcome to the hobby plan. You'll then go into the dashboard. And what we're going to do now is type in railway.app slash templates. And this will take you to a template screen. And this is where we have to find the next step, which is going to be just searching N8N. Or you could also come into most popular and it's just going to be the pop-up right here. So we see that they offer primary worker Redis and Postgres. So next up, we will just choose deploy now. You know, you can configure each of these individually, but what we will actually do is we're going to scroll down, go to deploy. It'll take a second for all of these to load. So I'll come back to you guys once it's actually finished. Okay, everything just finished deploying. You can see that everything is showing as successful you know, next to all these little modules. But if you come into primary, just on the right side of under activity, we're going to click on this. We're going to back out of this log right here and we're going to go to settings. And this is what we're looking for right here, this little address. A couple of things that you could do, if you like, you can choose a custom domain. You can even put in any proxies. So if you want to hook up your N8N instance to a particular website, you can even port it to, you know, whichever ports that you would like, whichever befits your needs. So we're going to leave this alone for now. We're just going to use our actual link that it's providing us. And we're just going to enter this into our browser. So you can see it's going to prompt up N8N. You can type in your email, your first name. So let me go ahead and fill this out real quick. Okay, so I just filled all that out. I created my own account and I'm going to skip past all of this. And what I'm going to do, if you would like, you can go ahead and fill this out. I usually would recommend this. So you can just send yourself a free license key. All you have to do is just enter a code. So let me also do that real quick. Okay, so I just activated that. And what that's actually going to do, it's just going to give you additional access to some specific features. But anyways, you're all good to go now. And that's essentially all you have to really do. So I could go ahead and create brand new workflows if I would like to, you know, every time I save it, you don't have to be on just one computer. It's going to be a lot cheaper than actually having to pay any ends cloud fees. So it'll allow you guys to play around with this yourself. But besides that, that's really all there is to really deploying this on a third party server. So you don't have to go through paying any ends cloud fees, which is $20. And I think the next one's like 50 or $70. So it can be pretty expensive. Whereas opposed, if you're spending $20 on railway, you know, that's going to be as scalable as you need. So if I come into the settings, I'll show you guys quickly. There's another feature called the community notes, which is pretty cool. So you could go ahead and install this and you can see what other people are building out, you know, something that you can't get on the and it and cloud version, which is actually really cool. Other than that, that's really all I wanted to show you guys today. It's a super cheap way. And it's something that I actually use for my own clients. If you have any questions, join my school community, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.